Today we're going to be here for three hours. Three hours. You realize that's only 12 and a half percent of today? We're asking for your energy and your focus for 12 and a half percent of today. How much are you willing to give? Let's go get them. And here's the pitch. Line drive to Robinson. He catches it, flips to second. In time for the double play, and the Rebels get the victory. Going to Louisville to play two games. Then we head down to Baton Rouge for the first SEC series. And uh, I think we're excited, ready to uh, you know, get the ball rolling a little bit. Hoping to get some you know, funny jokes. I know they always, say, they always say some mean stuff to me, so get a few honey badgers and stuff like that. It's things I look forward to. All right, see you all down in Baton Rouge. Got a little curfew check going here, uh, 11 o'clock curfew. Get the guys ready to go for, for the game tomorrow. Um, giving out a little meal money, $20 to each player to cover meal expenses. Make sure these guys are well fed and ready to go for the game tomorrow. What's up, guys? Oh, all right. <laughs> Most awkward room check ever. Come on in. <laughs> yeah, OK. Make up for it. There it is. A little Saints pillow. Every 20, I'll put it up for you. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta take care of him sometimes. <laughs> He'll lose it. <laughs> That's not fair. <laughs> no money. Give me my money. <laughs> Got the season. Get out of here. <laughs> In all my years of doing curfew, I only had one guy miss. I won't name names. What's up? Gold. What's going on? How's it going? Cash is always good. <laughs> yeah, we like cash. Oh yeah. Let the wallet breathe. Oh, oh count me out. Yeah. Hey, take note of Breezy's Paul Paul pajamas. Come on. It's full of hair here. No. We love it when they come because they bring us this. Alright, we're definitely on the other way. Had a long drive today. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh. The money wakes him up. He's very Welcome confused. to money. He's very confused right now. Welcome <laughs> to the season. We'll go run at 10 o'clock. All right, you're good. All right, so successful bed check. All the revs are accounted for. Time to get a little shut eye, a little beauty rest, and time to beat the Tigers tomorrow. Good night. Top of the ninth. Ole Miss needs a rally. They trail by a run, but that will be a tough, tough task against the best closer in college baseball right now in the form of Jesse Stallings. Listen, this is our time. Same guys yesterday, right? Shorten your swings. It's not 110, right? Just get to it. You're going to get a fastball, but you got to stay short. You don't get longer. Let's win right now, right? This is our moment right here. Put four of bats together. We win the game. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Quick meeting on the mound as Ole Miss has runner in scoring position and nobody out and a tough out at the plate at Sykes Orvis. Don't run him off on a, a pass ball or a wild yeah. pitch. You, you just get ready. Ball. You stay at the play and stay short, all right? Hey, just get, don't you have to move him over. Get him in, right? Get him in. Go sides. Yes! Yeah. Go, 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 go! This will get the tying run home, and Ole Miss has equalized it at three. What do you think about winning a game, huh? Let's go, I don't know what you're doing. Get into it. Fourth time Ole Miss has had the leadoff man reach. They have scored on two of the previous three times. That's occurred. And Orvis slaps one into left center. That's going to get all the way to the wall. Woodman will round third. And Orvis has done it again. You know, uh, 
you know, don't they, they may try a pick or do something, but just get a good secondary read down angle. Don't get a catcher pick. That's it. They throw you out third, they throw you out third. Just don't get a catcher yes, pick and button through the ball, all right? Two one. This ball lined to right field. That's a base hit for Errol Robinson and Ole Miss adds a run. Lifted to left field, long run, Watson reaches up and makes the catch in the corner, and Ole Miss wins 5-3 in 14 innings. Yes, boy, good job, boys. Yeah. Boy, get down. Yeah. 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 Love it, love it, good job, man. Good job, we got love it. Get some rest tonight, be ready to play tomorrow. Let's put it to him tomorrow. So, yeah. so, boys. We've always worn this uniform, played in this stadium to be great. Today, be great. Let's go get them. Let's go. Yeah. One of the best ever. One of the best ever. Here you go. Thank you for being here again. Appreciate it. Appreciate what you do. Hitting eighth is Will Haney, the catcher, right hand hitting softball. Line drive right to Robinson. He catches it for the out. Wow. <laughs> Have we? Well, there they go. Here's the pitch. Breaking ball left side, and it is through for a base hit. Skipping over it was Cloyd. He will score. The 2 0 pitch to Bortles. Swung on. Line drive. Base hit to left. This will score a run. Every time y'all video me, something good happens. So. <laughs> Full count to Orvis here. And that one's lifted to left field, well stroked, and a long run for Avan. He can't get there. Yeah! It hits up against the wall. Boy, the one-two pitch to Houston. Strike three. Hit the outside corner. Got him looking, and that's the third strikeout for Christian Trent. Who's the pitch? Green light, fly ball, left field. That ball is crushed, and it is gone. A three-run homer for Colby Bortles. What I'm saying is I don't want you to get a 12-foot lead, and now we're stealing second pitch, because I'm not looking at your lead. I'm just looking at the time. And then all of a sudden, you know, now we want to steal, and now you, you, know, now you alert them. You know what I'm saying? All right, here we go. Two with runners at first and second and one down. There go the runners. Here's the pitch way outside. The throw to third, not in time. Boy, Kyle. I know you did, but but that's 115 and we're up by eight and they're gonna pitch next Friday. That was good. I mean, really, I would have let you go if it was if it was closer. Ground ball left side. That is a base hit. Left fielder Watson charging. Salem's gonna try to score. Here's a throw to the plate. One hop tag and he's out of there. That's the end of the game. I'm proud of you, but we're still climbing, right? And it's not just about feeling good or being good, it's about being great and continuing to climb. Throw it up, throw it up. Throw it up. Don't be late. Did you shower? No, no, Sean, good hair. LB spaghetti? Yeah. Shout out to LB's. Mm. I think I'm just gonna vibe here for a little bit. I don't have time to talk right now, I mean. <laughs> he ate all the food. So we just got bread left. That's all I got. Just relax, come back out and do it all over again, hopefully, and just avoid teammates and over there trying to throw crap at you. Errol! Man, I'm trying to get food out of my shoes because Asford put them in the trash can. That's not true.
trying to play some baseball from Oxford. Game three between Ole Miss and State. Rebels winning the first two, four to three and 13 to 10. One, two to West Ray. Weathersby delivers. Swing and a miss. Struck him out on an elevated game, fastball. Get the next one, Coach Scott. The three one to Holland. And he hits one into left center. Watson's going to move over and make the catch for the out. And what a break for Scott Weathersby. And like I told you, stop the first thing. A lot of things you got all set. But one of the things is, I don't know if we got anybody could have done what we just did, right? And so that's what you do. You just get locked back into the moment, make a pitch, right? And if he either makes a, misses a pitch, the umpire, or they hit a good pitch, or if you make a bad pitch, you know, that's why you're the best, right? Just keep making pitches. Good. He's over one with a strikeout swing. Bunts it, pops it up. Knight comes out from the plate, catches it in the air, and that's the end of the inning. Go ahead, sit down. You know, the difference in the, the first two innings in that inning is really that's that's you. Why you have success is that inning. That we talk about making pitches. You know, curveball first first strike. Or fastball in and you make it. Just dump it in there and make him have to adjust to a fastball in, fastball away, change up and a break a ball into the strike zone. You know what I'm saying? Now we call an extra, you can do what you did. You, you know what I'm saying? But that's what you missed the first two innings. Not that you've been awful. Right? But you just haven't been that as much. You know what I'm saying? And when you do that, you dominate anybody, right? The 2 2 pitch from Sexton. And that's a fly ball to right field. He's hit it well. It's at the wall. The right fielder Vickerson looks at it. It's gone. Right. Beverage shower and right. And hustles into third base to throw a little bit late. Swing and a miss. Wes Ray will strike out with one on the hand zone, and that'll end the inning. Go, let's go! Two out to Orvis, and he hits another one deep to right field. This is gone. Way out of here. See ya. It's five to two. Orvis Knight and Woodman, bottom of the ninth for Ole Miss. Rebels trail seven to two. And Austin Sexton trying to get a complete game. You know what you're getting now, right? It's a fastball. So be short and be on time. Don't try to do anything special. Be Will Golston here, right? Short and get to it right here, all right? Three balls, one strike to Golson. And the pitch. Ball four, he walks in a run. Bortles got, I think, all fastballs last night. Yeah. That's why they chose him on the fifth. They just started throwing. Colby Bortles, who's 0 for 4 on the day with two strikeouts, looking for his first hit. This would be a good place for it. The Rebels send the ninth man up. And a pitch. Ground ball up the middle. It's a base hit. you got to be kidding me. One run scores. Two runs score. We're tied at 7-7. Seven, seven. Unbelievable. One pitch, ground ball right side, big bounce for Orvis. He has it, he steps on the bag. The Rebels need a run to win it. All right, remember they're gonna run in your face. You know, the third base, you get a bunt to the first base side. You know, because the third base is gonna charge, right? And I can't run for night, he's gotta run, all right? square immediately. And he does bunt it back toward the pitcher. It's going to be picked up there. He looks towards second and throws to first. The 1 0 pitch to Perkins. Way up and away. He gets off the catcher's mitt. Austin Knight's trying to get the third. He's there. So you're going to get a big giant lead. You're going to go on down angle right here. You got you understand what I'm saying? Tag on any fly ball. Three's on the line. You got me? 2-1 the count to Perkins. And a pitch. Ground ball, big hopper left side. Baby, it's over. Oh Miss wins 8-7 over Mississippi State. They're sprinting onto the field. Oh man, we did we stay in the sweep. Let's go, extra innings, yeah! I told you. Hey, 
Enjoy it. You deserve it. Congratulations. Yeah. I knew he was getting through a contact. I mean, I'm pretty good at chopping the ball on the ground and bouncing over the infielder's heads. And, and when I hit that one in the infield in, I knew that thing was going over his head. Got, got a full sweep in football, basketball, and baseball since 1972, I think they said. So, can't beat that. That's the most awesome game I've ever been a part of. And I'd like to say that that is how the rabbit eats a cabbage. And I'm proud to be a rebel.